Hey guys, what's up? Wesley here from Maximize Your Life and right now I am just at work and I have a long and boring task to fulfill. My son's over there having some fun and I'm here working doing this task. And what I want to share with you today is how I personally like to fulfill those boring tasks because it can really drain your energy completely, you know. If I can speak for myself, it, if I do these kind of tasks really in a row, without a break, then my brain is dead before lunch. So definitely taking small breaks is something I like to do. If you don't know when you should take these breaks, you must just experiment with it. I like to sometimes set a timer for 10 minutes straight of boring work and take a few minutes and then start again. You can also use the Pomodoro technique. I'll leave a link down below in the description. I created a article about that on my webpage, uh, thetotalpackage.org. There's described how this works. Uh, that's also for me a very efficient way to work. Also, you can implement small rewards for yourself. This sounds maybe strange or stupid or whatever, but uh, that's also a way I like to work, to provide myself with some small rewards at the end of a boring task so that I have something to look forward to. This can be uh, a nice snack, you know, healthy or not, uh, it's up to you. Uh, this can be maybe uh, that you allow yourself to um, do some social media, checking on your phone. It depends on the type of person you are. Uh, you can uh, also reward yourself with uh, some push-ups. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is, but reward yourself after a boring task so that you have something to look forward to is also a technique that works quite well. So yeah, that's actually how I'm going through some boring tasks. And with boring tasks, I mean something which is very simple to do, but because it's so simple, you have to keep your attention to it or else it's very easy to make mistakes, you know, because it's simple. Sometimes your brain just shuts off and you're just doing things like an autopilot, an autopilot. And that's where mistakes happen. I work in IT. We can't have those kind of mistakes. Okay. And I'm sure in whatever it is you're doing, mistakes are never desirable, of course. So in order to minimize it, you have to find some ways on how you can work the best you can. So, yeah, that's just something I wanted to share with you today. Have a great day and go smash it.